I'm so excited. I have all this excited energy and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> oh! A blind him. <laughs> Hi guys! Editing Sibu here. I just want to let you know for this video that you're about to watch, and I know you're gonna watch it all the way through. Much love. I uh, am using a new editing software. I'm trying something new. I was learning it today, so if you do something, see something different, or you're like, mm, this is not Sibu, that's why. But I do hope you watch it all the way through. Enjoy! Bye! If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. How are you doing? Please subscribe now. Um, as you can see, I'm walking. I'm in the streets on a Saturday morning. It's cold. I'm not dressed cute. I'm not looking cute or nothing like that. Because what am I going? Where am I going? I am going with determination to go to the gym. I woke up on a Saturday morning to go to the gym. Who is she? Who am I? This is the beginning of a new year, new me. And I was speaking to my friend earlier this morning. I was saying like I'm really frustrated with myself because. I I am not getting the traction that I know I can get that either that be with my channel with life with like anything because I'm not disciplined and I'm very annoyed with myself that I've got the resources and I've got everything here right in front of me and I'm not utilizing it so I woke up frustrated and I'm using today as a reset button I'm using it to reset everything and to just like get my shit together and get my shit about me because there's no fucking way literally no way so I'm now on my way to the gym I don't know what part of the body I'm going to work out yet if I'm going to do cardio follow my plan or this and the other then after that I'm going to do groceries come back to my house do some real 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 groundwork on like what I plan to do for the next year I really want to travel more I've already started like thinking of which places I'm going to go to and things like that so yeah i'm really feeling good about this day i'm really feeling like i'm gonna get a lot out of this day but yeah come along Now that I know they're real, now that I know they're real, I see them everywhere. <laughs> Really holding my breath there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Look at all these chickens. <laughs> they're gonna think we have snacks. I know it. Look, they already think we have snacks. Oh no, they've been eyeballing me. <laughs> Especially this one. This, this one. <laughs> the one that keeps trying to climb out. You wanna go uh, over Yeah, I was waiting here. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, we we climbing out. Oh, I was waiting here so I didn't go far and then you'd yeah. lose me and then we'd have to Where are you? Where are you now? I'm by the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Wave? What you wearing? Wave? What you wearing? No, but then this is very obvious. Yeah, yeah. This is the quote I was telling you about. Yeah. Hey, baby. I didn't bring an umbrella, did you? Mm -mm. 
Je check it out. You would think I've been living here for a year and a bit, would you? Oh, I you know what I'm I always <coughs> remember that I forgot my, excuse me, my umbrella on the walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I get, I know exactly when I get to um. Yeah, bro, I see you, I see you. You're like being the Cape Town special to that potato, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. The way, the way this African country looks like, but now I'm with you, man. Like, I'm about to. Like, it looks like you're taking your time. Absolutely, but I promise you. I promise you. I promise. I, promise. I don't believe you. Alright, okay, guys, I don't know what to do then. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm waiting. It has to pass 11 years so that I know she's the one. I don't believe you. Like, y'all could be together 15 years and you'd be like, I'm not sure. 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 I'm I feel like you and Honorable Bear have also been together quite some time before we're gonna start. Not not as long as you. I will. I will. I will. I will. When you have propped on the knee, come at me. I will. I will. I'm gonna do all the right things, man. And then she's gonna cry. I'm really trying to help me. Just love me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an honest moment out of how much it's wasted to be together. Outside with no personal information to them, with no personal interest in the matter. Doesn't look like you're serious. Uh, I, I don't know. So, last year, over Vlogmas, that I stopped halfway because I was having a mental breakdown, I made the last video I uploaded as part of Vlogmas, I think was day 7, was it day 7 or day 11? I don't remember, was me doing a New Year's resolution list. So now, the end of the year has come and I'm going to go through what I've achieved from that resolution list and I'm going to be making a new resolution list, but not necessarily resolution list. Uh, one of my favorite influences, if you can call it that, let's call her an author, she's a podcaster, Candice Breathrate, please listen to the podcast, Closet Confessions, if not for like entertainment, for real life advice, resounding advice for black women. Oh my God, like every time I like bank up episodes so that I can listen to it like in succession so that I receive like wisdom and a lot of like, like energy and driven like force behind me this year was like having their voices behind at the back of my mind like another one like one of the things that they said was like if you want to leave then leave it's always going to be there that that if it's meant for you type of thing if it's meant for you it'll always be there and if it's not leaving is the best thing you could do for your own self it's oh like their words always resound and they have sound advice and i just just go listen just go listen i listen to them on spotify but anyway so she recommended, well, she put up on her story this thing called the Year Compass. So I haven't read through it, but I'm going to read through it now and fill it out as I go through so that I I, I really, I, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of different energy. Maybe it's like my meditation, my praying, the 
like them seven them can be that we did at home but i'm feeling so much more i don't know i feel charged like charged not even recharged just charged to like get the get shit going you know what i mean so i'm gonna go through my resolution list for this year it was in this book i wrote it under this tab at the back new year's resolution so the first one was have 1000 subscribers on youtube and like what i read was that if you have a goal you set steps on how you're going to reach that goal and for, to get 1000 subscribers i said upload once a week make good content and make a youtube trailer now i didn't upload once a week i fell off the wagon for some time there but y'all forgave me much love make good content i do believe that the content that i do make is good and i think i am getting better um there's always room to learn i'm always watching like new youtubers if there's any youtubers actually that you watch that you recommend for me to watch that like their style is vibing and you're like link us together please let me know so that i can watch them and like learn i really love learning from other people in this industry and thing was the youtube trailer i think i stalled a little bit on the youtube trailer i wanted to make it for my like i do it myself but then I, I i didn't because i just didn't know what to do so i'm going to get someone to then do it but then if funds were, were in deficit so i didn't get to do that so i didn't get to 1000 subscribers um but i did get to 500 and by the time of this video is about 560 which is bloody amazing and i'm so proud of myself for even making it there you know what i mean the second one was take my health more seriously. Oh, this one I fell off the bandwagon. I can't lie, I fell off the bandwagon. I fell off the little bit of a bandwagon. Taking my health more seriously, it, it being emotional health, mental health, and physical health. My, for six months, I was a ghost of a person. For about six or seven months, I was a shadow of a person. Like, I, I wasn't, I, I, I feel like that was the most depressed I'd ever been that was the most depressed I'd ever been and it scares me so much to think about that time of my life it it was so 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 scary so in taking my health more seriously I went to go see the doctor because I had a mental breakdown at work and I didn't the reason that I had a mental breakdown at work is because of like emotional and physical health because I didn't want to be sick off work again but that's another story but then I ended up going there and then I recently just started eating better because i'm trying to lose weight um and my physical health we have made some trackway in like investigating like this diagnosis that i may or may not have um the third one is read at least two books a month i didn't do that but i did read a lot of books i did read a lot a lot a lot of books um but i didn't keep us to taking out only two books at the library at a time at the moment i have one two three books out from the library and that's only because i wanted to go into the new year with at least like one and not carrying burdens of the year the one that i'm reading now i'm not i'm not so inclined to finish it um the fourth one was meditate slash do yoga at least twice a week and become a chakra hun I won't say that I meditated or did yoga twice a week. There was a point in time I did yoga every day and I felt so good. In that period, it was the time when I was depressed. So I did yoga as like a, you know, um, but I did like, and then I, then I stopped. Um, but then in terms of becoming a chakra han, I, I don't want to say I'm a chakra han. I do have a lot more crystals than what I did at the beginning of the year. And I am taking like a keenness to like understanding and learning more about like, spirituality my religion and things like that whatever and then this number five one ugh, i don't know if i want to share it i don't know if i shared it last time but i said get a product sponsorship and i don't know if i was being too ambitious or if i didn't put in enough work to get there you know what i mean because there's so many brands i think of that i could do so much work with and i'm like ah i'm gonna send this email i'm gonna send this email i'm gonna send this email and then i really end up don't i have so many drafted emails to send to certain like brands and stuff like that i just haven't done i don't know it's like my numbers are not high enough or they're gonna just laugh you know just like not backing myself type of energy but that's all done that was a long that was a long little new year's resolution recap anyway i don't even know what the format of this video is going to be but you know what it's the format of a video anyway so we're going to now do this here campus and enjoy my background music in silence while i reflect and deeply meditate you have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working but there's something inside of you that says i just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna be who you're gonna be who you're gonna be <laughs>
So I've gotten through half of the book. We are at the past, yeah. Letting go. Fucking shit. Damn, dog. Oh my god. Like, it's not like it's confrontational. Really, it's like a think about it. Mm. This one is like, is there anything else you need to say? Is there anything you have? Is there anything you have to let go of before you can start your next year? Draw, all right. Think about it and let it go. Think about it and let it go. Is there anything, this last one was forgiveness. Did anything happen in the past that still needs to be forgiven? Deeds or words that made you feel bad? Or are you angry with yourself? Write it down here. Do yourself good by forgiving. And then there's an asterisk. And then it says, if you don't feel ready to forgive yet, jot it down anyway. It can work wonders. And now I'm in tears and I'm an emotional wreck, but I'm going to go do it for myself. The next segment of the video is coming up next. <laughs> Sleepover slumber party. Smile, say cheese. Mm. <laughs> got TGIs, got boneless wings. What are those? Chicken strips. Yep. Mac and cheese balls. Fries, fries. Chocolate fudge cake. Coke, Coke. And some sauces. Cocaína! <laughs> Today's a very exciting day. Why is it a very exciting day? Good question. I'd love to answer that. So, um, two things, two very exciting, no, three exciting things are happening today. I'm going to list them in order of least exciting to most exciting. But I don't want it to seem as though I'm not excited for the one that's least exciting. Is that the one that's most exciting, I've been planning for it for like a really, really long time. And today's the day i've been waiting for tomorrow won't come after all yesterday so far away and today's the only day that's what i feel about number one okay so exciting num exciting thing number three is that my friend was sleeping over yesterday and i'm walking her to go buy snacks see you're an exciting event in my life today Z. <laughs> see that's how you risk people anyway <laughs> I don't know if they could see you. <laughs> and the second exciting thing is that I'm going to go see the Christmas lights in London town, baby, with Frank. It's their first time seeing the lights. 
it's my second time seeing the lights. They send me a video on Instagram like, oh, look, there's someone that's planned a route for the lights. I'm like, oh my God, we have to wear uh, um, comfortable shoes. So we're going in comfortable shoes and comfortable gear that I'm going to show you later because I'm doing a TikTok for it, etc., etc. When I said I'm getting on my Zoom, I'm really getting on my Zoom. And then the first number one thing <laughs> I'm most excited for Okay, so when I was writing, hold on, I'm out of breath, hold on, hold on, hold on, so when I was doing my year campus when you saw me crying, I, um, it was asking about what are the things, so like, wait, let me read you the prompt, it says, no, it's not that one, not that one. Yes, it says, this is what my next year will be about, right? So I take a look at these areas of your life and decide your goals for each of them for the next year. Put those goals on this page and this is the first step towards realizing them. And there's the categories that they put. And in the categories, there's one category that says relaxation, hobbies, creativity. Oh my gosh, I can't read my secrets. So, <laughs> it says relaxation, hobbies, and creativity, right? And... Um, one of the things I put in is investing in my hobbies. Because what I realized about 2023 is that I have hobbies, but I wasn't paying attention to those hobbies. The only hobby that I was actually paying attention to is making my YouTube videos. And like, yes, I was pouring into my cup, but and so pouring into my cup, I was pouring out as well. Because I was pouring in by making videos and pouring out by putting the videos out for you guys to see. But one that I'm investing today wow that was a long intro to tell you about what i'm gonna be excited about the most wow if you're still here shout out to you you're the real one you're the day one since a1 i'm buying a sewing machine <laughs> i'm so excited i have all this excited energy and i don't know what to do about it <laughs> so what we do we jog on the spot <laughs> I'm buying a sewing machine. My mom is so happy. I said, Patricia, you better know now that you're in your retirement era, I'm going to be calling you on the phone 24 7 365 to be like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? And she was like, of course. And I was like, no, I needed one, the space of which I have now, the space to do it. Because at my old place, I didn't feel comfortable in, in, in having a sewing machine in the, the, the communal area because it's at other people's space as well. Oh, now I'm hot. It's other people's space as well. And my room is just not big enough to house like a sewing machine. Whereas here, it's my space. I'm sharing it with someone that's really lovely and is supportive of my hobbies and in the vestation and the investment of my hobbies so they don't mind. So it's like, there's no better time than now. And now I'm buying a sewing machine. Come with me, please. Come with me, please, to go buy the sewing machine. <laughs> I'm gonna get my mom approved this one. This is the one. Okay. Then my mom approved. She said, she's like, yeah. And then he's interesting about the Sabulelo. It has this, 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 and this, 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 this. It's sharp and it's affordable. And it keeps you clean. It's sharp for when. You see? This is the one. This is what I'm gonna get. Is the box here? That one. It's not that one. It's this 19s. Oh, I'm gonna get it in blue. Oh. 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 I don't think the box is gonna fit inside Lucinda. <laughs> Make it fit. Keep it like this. Yeah. Even if it doesn't close. What's in here? Satin stitch. Let's go. Back button house. Let's go. Zigzag stitch. Quilting. And oh, a blind hem. You don't know what that means. No. Do you? <laughs> Let's go, excuse me, I want this one. Come, let's go. Oh, wait, let me get my accessories first. My machine is at the till waiting for me. So I'm just gonna get like accessories like 
needles. I have a pair of scissors. I'm gonna get needles. I'm gonna get some bobbins. Um, I'm gonna get some thread. I'm gonna get. There's, there's there's something I want to make. I'll show you. I'll show you what it is I want to make. Um, but um, I'm gonna like get the basic things that I know that I'm going to need like here now already so that this this thing that I've been saving like it's one and done you know okay let me just get let me just get my thread let me get my my, my needles and then okay push red set stop in the bone Okay, keep a guy so and uh, I price Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two pound fifty. A one. A. I Okay, So maybe, maybe, maybe can get Kona Sila. Yes, because maybe we to so we can do it together. So we can do it together. Maybe get a ton of habit, a cheap and yeah, and then the <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, I need a fabric marker. There was a pencil here. You see? You really pay attention. You see? I know what's going on. Stick with me. I'll take drunk. you places. Okay. I thought that was called a. I thought this was a quitter's pencil. I said, <laughs> hey, your mama. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Maybe if I get... Could you... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just have a little bit of water on the side. No, water so far. <laughs> I'm just saying what my mom does. <laughs> So I just got back. I didn't even have a chance to unbox. I don't even have a chance to unbox my new sewing machine Yeah, I don't have a chance to unbox my sewing machine because I have to get ready to go see the Christmas lights with Frank and I want to record a video of my Primark um, haul that I haven't got around to show you because I've been procrastinating not, like so much so I'm gonna show you the, the what I got from Primark and then after showing you what I got from Primark I'm going to do a try on haul that I'm going to post a video on my YouTube shorts and on TikTok I don't know should I do it on Instagram I don't know I feel like Instagram reels need to have a certain aesthetic which I feel like not that my videos don't meet but nah and I feel like on, on Instagram you have to be 
it's an aesthetic. Maybe I should start. We'll never know. We'll never know. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all what I bought and then we'll see. Yeah? Okay, cool. So, sorry. I just need to readjust the scarf that I'm using as a makeshift. Ooh, it's a bar. No, it's a bar. See? See? Better. Now we don't have to worry about shorts falling off, etc. So, I'm going to try them on. I'm going to try them on. I feel like for the proper try on video, you should just go to my TikTok. So, got this lovely, lovely, lovely pair of jeans. These are mom jeans, but because we know I'm, I'm thick and I got curves, they fit like normal jeans for me. I, like, you know what type of jean style I want? I want balloon style jeans. The ones that go like this around your leg. Then it looks like a baggy style and stuff like that because wide legs don't look like wide legs to me and straight cut don't. They just look like normal jeans because if I, the, if I keep sizing up, the waist doesn't fit. So then it's like a, what am I doing here? So this one, it's mom style, but it fits like nice and tight. Um, it's comfortable and it was 14 pounds. And then I was like, I want to get myself like comfort, leisure type of like clothing. So I got two sets of tracksuits, but like not like a set that it is a set. I like pick them, I match them myself. But Primark makes it really easy. It has a lot of things that are like the same color. So like making sets is really quite simple. So before that, I bought like my Barbie socks. I've already worn up here. Um, so this is the pants for the one. And I think these are the ones I feel like I'm going to wear today. I don't know. Like, I'll see on the try-on, like, which vibe I'm going for. These are the, the one pants. And then the pan the top that goes with that one is this one. You see, it has, like, the same kind of tone. And then it has, like, the same, like, writing, like, text, like, style. So then, what's it say? Self-love, something like that. Yeah. So self-love and Carol Boys. You know what I mean? And then the top of the second set is this, like, hoodie. All right, let me see. Woohoo! Is this hoodie? And I like this one. It's a very nice, like, casual one. And it says, find the art in everything, which is really quite cute, and I like it. And then the trousers that I wore to match with that one is these ones. These, like, simple gray pants that are nice and whatever. And I think these are too, like, they cash, not too cash, but they cash for, like, me going to London, whereas if I were to wear that creamy Shiana one, it'd be like a, I'd dress it up. You know what I mean? It's leisure, but dressed up type of thing. No bin? No bin! <laughs> First old country for who? Are we ready to <laughs> Took a break. We'll be walking. I wonder what my step count is going to be at the end of today. Um, minimum, surely around 16. I was, I was, I was saying 16, 15 as well. Mm. And to be honest, Carnaby Street is the first time I've, <gasps> I've I guess, such a big gasp. Because this one... It's giving universe. Oh, look! The glittery stuff! Wow! Oh my god! I've said it before and I'll say it again. At any given point in time, you better believe I'm going to have Korean food. And what are we having? Korean food. Uh, so we're taking a break from our little Christmas light tour. Korean street food. I already know what I'm gonna get. I already know what I'm gonna get. Frank said, I know, I know, I know you know your stuff, so you order, you, you have a look and tell me what you like, and then that's what we're gonna do. Eh?
got back from seeing the light, the wind blew my hat away. I'm so upset. Hold on. The wind blew my hat away and by blowing it away, I didn't, I'm not saying that I lost my, I lost my hat, which I know now it sounds like I'm saying that I lost my hat, which I'd be absolutely devastated. I got like six compliments from people about my hat and like my hair, people were like, oh my gosh, your hair is so luxurious, it's so luscious. Um, it's so like this, that and the other. And like this one man was like, I've just been so mesmerized by your hair. Because like he was walking behind me. And he's like, I've just been so mesmerized by your hair. It looks so stunning and whatnot. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, right? Ooh. This man that was walking behind me was like saying like, oh my gosh, I'm so mesmerized by your hair. Your hair looks stunning and stuff like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you, right? And then... The wind started getting aggressive, so then I had to take off my hat. So now, like, the the outfit still looked bomb, but I'm like, I feel like the hat just, like, tied everything together. And I feel like this fit was eating. I don't know. This outfit is just giving me the life. Do you know what I mean? It's giving me life. But um, the Christmas lights were the Christmas lights. I feel... I don't feel bamboozled. I feel like I had expectations. I don't know why in, in the world I thought... That every year it's a different design of Christmas lights in London town because then when I went with Frank it was Frank's first time and it was like oh my gosh like they were like oh wow oh wow but then for me because I saw them last year with Priyanka I was like oh it's lights you know what I mean but then I feel like Carnaby Street because we didn't go to Carnaby Street last year that's the one that I was like oh mesmerized breath taken away and things like that but yeah the lights are cute the lights are the lights you know what i mean <laughs> so taking a little break for my emotional um moment with emma um i'm going to go get um our food for christmas dinner tomorrow so tomorrow's christmas and in this country everything is closed on christmas there's no grocery shops open there's no restaurants open public transport doesn't exist on christmas day so you have to get everything done before christmas so i'm going to go collect our christmas food and frank is going to come spend christmas dinner with me tomorrow um and yeah that's what i'm going to go fetch now and then i'm going to drop off their bags for them because they lent um these bags for me to me when i was moving so that i didn't have to like unpack and like repack and stuff like that so i was like no just use the bag that i came with because i just landed anywhere but yeah so i'm returning these bags to them and then i'm going to go fetch the um, the 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 dinner for tomorrow and then i'm going to go do some shopping for like Cleaning supplies. Cleaning supplies because funny story, Kamo and I, when we moved in, we moved from technically two different households and each household had like bare cleaning stuff. So now we said no, we're not buying any more cleaning stuff until all these ones are finished. So these ones are finishing and I need to like do it like a deep clean for like my bathroom, the lounge and everything and there's like nothing to clean with and like we're running out of laundry detergent. So I'm like, I just need to go like buy that stuff so that... I can like be a, like be a, be about business and stand on business, and then I'm gonna come back, give Emma a test drive this year. She looking so cute and she, I, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. I have been outside the house for four hours. I'm so upset. I got boxes. I got boxes for my new sewing escapades because. How rock I say you need to well when you're cutting your patterns you need to cut them on a hard so well my mom cuts them on a box and like uses pins to the material so like that's how I know it to be done. So I went to get boxes, not thinking ahead that I'm going to have the larger see the third box. It had to be somehow and I'm like yeah I went to go get like cleaning stuff but then I stopped by to go get the Christmas food and then it's just a lot of the things in here are liquid and you know liquid is heavy but like liquid adds up and I'm like oh on today of all days and the wind is being so aggressive like the wind is not being kind at at all oh my god 
Anyway, let me eat. I'm gonna eat. After eating, gonna clean. After cleaning, I'm gonna edit. If the quality looks different, I changed my phone because I don't have the capacity to change the battery of my of my what's this thing my camera but what i'm saying is that it's late now i'm gonna eat after eating i'm gonna clean after cleaning i'm gonna edit after edit i'm gonna sleep because i got work tomorrow because i'm trying to get that money honey get double pay and get what is this thing get double pay and get a day back of annual leave what a time what a time okay guys if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up comment down below did you enjoy this week of mine? I didn't, when I started it, I didn't even start it with the intention of it being a weekly vlog. But then you know what? That's where my heart took me. I was like, okay, if this is where you're leading me, my dear Lord, that is where I shall go. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>